Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and uh, I'm just chilling out in my car here. I got to the doctor a little early today, so I figured I would go ahead and make an episode, and I was looking for a topic, and someone had actually sent me this, and I thought it was kind of funny. This is from Chris Arant. He's the editor over at, or one of the editors or writers over at uh, Newsarama, and um, he, he, you know, wrote this story here about uh, Absolute Carnage trying to break X-Men number one you know, like their record sales. Cause when that book came out and like, I think it was 91 or something like that, um, or 92, it sold 8 million, 100, uh, maybe it wasn't 91. Uh, I can't remember. Sorry. Uh, but it was 8 million, 104,611 copies is what X-Men number one sold written by Chris Claremont and drawn by Jim Lee. Um, it's a book I have, I have signed by Jim Lee as well. And I have numerous copies of it. <laughs> I think I have probably every like edition of that book possibly uh, that came out. Um, but, uh, I, you know, here's the thing. Comics were able to hit that kind of number back then. I think a lot of people are seeing this and I saw people getting mad that, uh, you know, they don't want this to happen. You know, X-Men number one should stay the, the, the winner and you know, the one that sells a chance are it's gonna, you know, <laughs> uh, for the most part, this is a joke. Now I'm sure, you know, Ryan Stegman and Donnie Cates would love for absolute carnage to actually sell 8,104,612 copies. But this image here is, is more of a, a gag, you know, it, it's, it's wish, thinking but they know it's wishful thinking so they're completely aware that hey if we if we actually somehow hit this number that would be surprising it would be amazing that that happened but chances are we're not going to hit that number um i think even donny cates was saying like hey you know i'm getting married which congratulations to him i saw that he's he got proposed or he proposed to his girlfriend and now they're getting married um and he was saying like hey as a wedding gift you know, just have your comic store order me you know like 500 copy <laughs> order 500 copies uh, for you of absolute carnage number one so obviously he's he's having fun with it too like he's he's you know joking with it um as well so it's like it's nothing to get mad about i don't know i saw people getting mad about this so i just wanted to point out that you're you're the joke is like that meme where it's like the jokes flying over superman's head uh you're totally superman in that situation uh there is a humor to this they don't truly believe they're gonna hit these numbers i think nowadays um like a comic may sell a million copies maybe but that doesn't mean it goes to every person, you know, everyone who, you know, that just goes to comic stores. That doesn't mean they're going to sell all, you know, 1 million, uh, just like X-Men, you know, sold 8 million to comic stores and, and other outlets, but it didn't go, you know, not 8 million people own X-Men number one. Um, so, you know, again, it's just these guys trying to, you know, have fun with it. But this article is about the deals that Marvel's giving because they, and, and I saw someone else going like, oh, look how Marvel's trying to cheat to get this to happen and stuff. And it's like, no, that's not the case either. Marvel does deep discounts on a lot of books, on a lot of books, uh, almost all of them. I've worked in numerous uh, comic shops throughout my life, and uh, this is not a new practice from Marvel. They will find a new number one, especially if it's like an event book, especially if it's an event book, um, or if it's like a new, you know, Captain America number one or Captain Marvel number one, or, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy number one or Spider-Man number one, whatever it is, they will find a way and be like, hey, last time we talked you into ordering 200 copies of this book and we gave you like a 30% discount. Well, if you order you know, 201 plus copies of this book will give you a 35% discount this time. This is just the kind of business practice Marvel has, which is how they a lot of times keep their numbers up. And DC does it too sometimes uh, on a lot of their books as well. Uh, but uh, Marvel does it uh, all the time. Uh, they always have new number ones coming out every, all this friggin' time. I mean, so does DC, I guess, but they're different labels and they have different expectations for those books. Marvel always wants everything to sell as much of, as it can. Uh, you know, obviously that's their, that's what business is. You want to be successful. Uh, so these discounts here, uh, publisher, publishers offering 15% off Absolute Carnage number one and two, because they both come out in the same month. Um, if they meet or exceed certain thresholds tied to Venom 16. So if you order 275% more Absolute Carnage and uh, number one and number twos than you ordered Venom 16, then chances are uh, you're going to get, you know, you'll get this 15% off discount off of each book, I guess, or off the total order. Um, and uh, and so, yeah, these this is nothing new. Uh, they, they offer these kind of discounts and stuff all the time. Uh, this is just their way of, you know, trying to get more books onto shelves. And they hope that the stores you know, are able to hand sell them, you know, at the end of the day, I think Marvel and DC, I don't think they sometimes care. They say they do. And some individuals may care because it's like their name on the book or something. Uh, they'll try to do what they can to help sell books. But I don't see a lot of that. I don't see a lot of, um, you know, creators 
tweeting out stores that sell their books. I see it sometimes, but not all the time. Um, I, I wish I saw it a lot more because I think that would give a lot more, uh, you know, attention to those stores that order those books. Um, and then it would be fun to see writers and artists going like, oh, they ordered 50 copies of your book. Well, they are, you know, 51 of mine. And they're like, oh, yeah. And then they have like a friend, friendly competition where it's like, all right, well, next month, you know, order 52 of my book or whatever. And I don't know. I, I just think stuff like that is fun and it's it's good for business. And um, and I, I don't know. I feel like everyone in the comic industry comes across as, as an individual and uh, and they have that individual mentality and they don't look at it as like a team effort. I sometimes do. They obviously know they're in a team effort because it's, you know, it's collaboration. So like, oh, yeah, we collaborate. We came up with the story and all that. It's like, all right, we'll now work together on selling the book. And I think even though I'm not a big fan of what, you know, Donnie Cates has written in Venom, I got to say as a salesman, he's pretty good because him and Ryan Stegman constantly have fun. Actually, I think they just announced or launched their own podcast where they're talking about their work and they're, and they're talking about Venom especially. So, uh, so yeah, and I'll try to put a link down below not only to this article but also to their podcast. You should listen to the first episode if I could give those guys a quick shout out. And uh, I know some of you would be like, dude, but you don't like his writing. Why are you plugging the stuff? It's like, hey, I don't dislike the guy on a personal personal level, <laughs> you know, like just because I don't like some of the stuff he's doing in the writing, but I know a lot of you do. So I understand that I am in a minority when it comes to my opinion on this and that the majority is that Venom books sell really well. One of the top selling books at Marvel right now on a monthly basis. And I have no doubt Absolute Carnage could possibly maybe hit a million copies, possibly. I mean, the, uh, the, the odds of that are pretty low. Uh, the odds of it hitting 8 million are almost non-existent. Uh, but, uh, but hitting a million, I feel like, is that, that would be a good achievement for this book if it could do that. Um, I'm thinking it'll probably land somewhere closer to the five or $600,000 range. Uh, but uh, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. A lot of people seem to really like the Venom stuff. And uh, coming off the hype of the movie and how much money the movie made, there should be no reason why this comic can't do uh, at least some really solid numbers for today's version of what solid numbers are. But they're not going to hit that 8 million. <laughs> that's for sure. So uh, for those of you who are out there who are mad about that or think that's going to happen, I'm pretty sure it's not going to happen. Uh, if it does, I will, I'll will be the first to congratulate Donny Cates and Ryan Segment. I will. Uh, even though I don't like their writing uh, or the, you know the, their work. I love Ryan Segment's art, definitely, on Venom um, and what he's done. But I, I'm not a big fan of the writing on it uh, for the most part. Uh, but I still will congratulate these guys. And I congratulate congratulate Donnie on his uh, wedding proposal and uh, I would definitely say if you if you want to get him a wedding gift and buy two copies or three copies of Absolute Carnage feel free to do that and and send him a picture of it I'm sure he'll be thrilled by that and then also if you're um you know if you're out there and you want to support these guys even more if you are a fan of their work definitely check out their podcast once again i'll put a link to that down below along with this newsarama article uh, but that's it for today i would love to hear your thoughts on all this uh, if you were out there thinking this was serious i'd love to hear you in the comments and tell me you know t tell me your side of it and why you're upset by this uh, of course it's not just about my opinion here it's about all of our opinions we are venom and uh, i want to hear every i want to hear from everybody so let me know down below we'll continue our conversation down there thanks so much for watching the show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you in the future Peace.